Opening statements today in the lawsuit against an area gun dealer. Two Milwaukee police officers are suing for negligence. They want financial compensation from the owners of the former Badger gun store. Veronica Macias is live with more on this. Veronica. Hello. Well, today you could feel the tension in the courtroom. The defendants, owners of the store, Badger Gun, sat in front of one of the plaintiffs, Ryan Norberg. At no time was there eye contact. The other injured officer was not here for opening statements. After a long morning of jury selection, nine women and seven men, attorneys began to draw out their cases. Knowing it was selling a gun to a customer, who had first answered on the federal form that he was a straw buyer. Patrick Dumphy, representing Milwaukee police officers Brian Norberg and Graham Kunich, argues that Badger Guns grossly failed to catch all the signs that the gun purchased and ultimately used to harm the police officers was ignored. Conflicting answers on the documents filled out by the buyer, Jacob Collins, says Dumphy, were enough to alert Badger Guns that the gun wasn't for him, sure. but the man you see in this video next to him, Julius Burton. The evidence will be that Jacob Collins knew he was committing a crime in the store that day, and together he and Julius Burton hid from Rick Flora what was really happening. The defense contends that Badger Guns was responsible in their sales. Attorney James Vault held up signs posted in the store that let customers know buying a gun for someone else was illegal. And as a result of that alleged conspiracy, plaintiffs say Adam, Wally, and Mick, they're also responsible for Badger Guns' sale of the gun. The defense also brought out something that Dumphy didn't, an accusation that Badger Guns knowingly and willingly sold the guns to straw buyers. Badger Guns, which also went by Badger Outdoors, denied that in court. Now, I'm told by legal experts that people on both sides of the gun debate are keeping a close eye on this case because cases like these are normally settled outside of court. Reporting in downtown Milwaukee, Veronica Macias, today's TMJ4. Veronica, thanks.